Welcome back! We are currently looking at <laughs> something I did. Uh, I tried, I tried so hard. Oh my god, and uh, yeah. Okay, so let me explain what happened. So, we spent two, two episodes creating a craft. And things were okay. I went for this side making a hole. And hoping to get us some iron. Then I was unable to <laughs> lift my ship almost out of the hole. It bounced a few times around several locations. I had to dump most of the uh, the ice and ooh, always going there. Oh, that is some brilliant light. I love that. So after dropping almost everything out of the cargo bay, I managed to speed myself up to around 112 meters per second because apparently I have a speed module and I tried to slow down with my whooping two thrusters I overshot by two kilometers uh, before crashing my ship yeah now I don't think you would enjoy watching me rebuild um, <laughs> actually watching me grind down because that is unfortunately what had to be done, I had to grind down my ship and from that moment in time I realized that design didn't work. Yeah, I know, I know, uh, it's annoying, it truly is horrible, but I'm thinking about making it a, a bit different, but there are other things that I would really like to get first. I would really like to get started on... I don't know, like, uh, one of these, survival kits, uh, a reviving station, a, a, a med bay, that would be brilliant for when I eventually will kill myself, we all know it will happen, it's uh, inevitable, but so far I have not die died yet, and I'm actually quite pleased about that. Where is the O2? Mm, O2, O2. There you go, O2 generator is what we also require. Now, we will have to get a conveyor belt all the way up here because this is the area where I would really like to, well, have my so-called living quarters go. Uh, let's take a quick look. Are there more entry points or it is just from the bottom? It is from the bottom. If we get a conveyor belt in there would I be able to come through well I guess for me there is only one way to find out and that means that first things first we need let's see this block to disappear and we're going to be getting it down right on top of it if that is possible because now of course I changed things uh, that is annoying. Okay, apparently you cannot do it this way. Ha! <laughs> well, I learn new stuff every day. How have you been doing, my friends? I hope you're enjoying yourself. I, I know I am, even though I, I know very little of this game. It is completely, it has completely drawn me in. We need interior plates. Of course we do. It has uh, been absolutely amazing so far and... I cannot imagine me having this game on my, uh, how do you say it, on Steam, you have this list on ignore list, and, and you call, call me an idiot, but I had it on there, it, the dumbest thing I've ever done, because this game is great and I'm loving it so far, are there multiple connection points, yes there are, and that are on the top as well. Shall we move it like like in a standing position once I figure out what key I need to press? There you go. I believe there is one for the standing position. But we need steel plates. Because every time we get something new. Yes, there is indeed a connection point in there. Uh, let's get a few of them. So we can actually get started on these two. We, I, I want to get rid of our... Um, of our, the remains of our ship. I should call it the remains. Uh, might not want to have it standing up. I don't know why. Is there a beautiful sight? Um, 
So there's only two access points. I think that one will do. Let's get our welder. Let's drop down before I kill myself. And this is horrible. If we just hook it up here. And the conveyor system is also hooked up there. It should be all right. Right? Well... Oh well, whatever. Let's continue. We need a lot. Uh, construction components, metal grid, small steel tubes, and a lot of other stuff. And of course, I um, I did not prepare at all. Uh, so we just get as much as possible. Um, get this stuff, that stuff. Construction components, we need way more. But I would really like to get rid of... Let's build this one up then. Can we build this one up at least? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> so tell me, how was your experience playing Space Engineers for the very first time? Because I got a bit of an idea on how things would go and... Oh my... Things can be quite rough, um, not really having a lot of people to guide me through my process. So far, it's uh, it's been interesting, it's been fun, I like it. So we definitely will be continuing for uh, probably a long time. Because, like I said, I would really like to get to know this game. Oh, there we go, that's why I really would like to get something else. So steel plates and interior plates. Mm, a lot of interior plates and metal grid small steel tubes. Mm, do we have some more? Uh, no. Well, we got steel plates. We don't need this. Otherwise, it would have already consumed it. Definitely the steel plates. There are some metal grids over here. Small steel tubes. And we need more interior plates, so let us produce a bunch of interior plates, as well as steel grids. Now also, I would really like to look into some of the modules that can be placed at the back, just like, like yield and speed. Also perhaps eventually getting a secondary refinery and multiple assemblers would probably help us a lot. Uh, let's charge up our suit again. Man. I hope this will improve in terms of speed. Now, we will get started on a new mining ship. Now, after looking at some examples, I have decided that the next thing that will kill me will have the mining drills at the front. And hopefully with a large amount of thrusters, we will be able to... Uh, how do you say that? We will be able to... Well, mine! Yeah, that was difficult, I know. So this is going to be functional, and we need 15 medical components. I'm not sure if I have them already. I don't remember me constructing them. Let's see, medical components, that's way too much. There you go, so 15. What are we lacking? We need silver. Okay, that's good. Silver is not too far away. We don't need a million of it. We just need a bit. Paint job. That is so cool. Carbon fiber, clean armor, digital gram. That is so nice. Okay, inventory, GPS, silver. Gold and silver. Please show on the hub. I don't like to have everything on my hub. So let's go. Uh, Do we get our drill? Yes, we do. Uh, I could have taken... I could have taken my vehicle. But I reckon flying there would be so much faster. So incredibly much faster um, so there is gold over there now there is going to be silver somewhere 
Let's see, let's press the other key. It's probably close. Where are you? Hmm. Okay, so that is the main reason I should have taken my car. It has an ore detector. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go. So as you can see there, I'm flying at the whopping speed of 110. I'm not sure if it's normal, but I think it might have something to do with um, with the the speed mod, the speed mod that I uh, got on there. So let's get in here. Let us put off from recharge. Let us unlock, put the brakes off, and we need to increase our suspension. Um, let's do the parking brake for, for a second again. Thank you very much. Yes. This is definitely the worst parking brake I've ever designed. Put the lights on. Let's go for... I believe the key should have been... Like just I. Wheel suspension. And let's get the strength up to, I don't know, like 20 or so. Now, I like, you know, you know that I don't know everything. I like this beacon and antenna thing. I, I, is it enough? Do I need a beacon and an antenna on here? Hmm. Stuff to think about. Stuff to look up. Stuff for you to, cut, to type in the comment section. I would really like to see you people... Just uh, typing away in there, just tell me, beacon or antenna. So, what I think is that a beacon is for location and an antenna is usually something that you want to be having, like, on your base. Now, if this is the case, then just say, yes, that is the case in the comment section. And we'll have some time there. So, we definitely want to get to the silver. I'm not sure where we'll use silver and gold for, but so I don't think we need a big haul of both of them. I kind of just want to go for the silver. We probably also would have gotten a few medical components just by um, grinding down the survival kit. But like I said, I'm really terrified about doing that. It um, it worries me. Truly worries me. Let's see. So we're almost there. 200 meters. And we'll grind down immediately. I have to be semi-careful over here. If I flip, I flip. It's, it's just how things go. There you go. Silver. It is so deep. Why this parking brake? It don't work. Luckily, the other one does. Uh... Are you kidding me? <sighs> oh, this is marvelous. <laughs> Damn. Okay, maybe, maybe we can fix this. Maybe. I'm saying maybe, okay? Because you, you all know me, right? The chances of me getting this right is very limited but i think we need to create a tip over point right with the connector otherwise the vehicle will crash on me it is almost going maybe i can get in Okay, let's zoom in. So, one of my wheels is not spinning. It probably has no friction then. Can we just fly very hard into this? Is that a thing that is possible? Well, it is possible, but not really what I decided to do. There you go, killed myself for the very first time. Luckily for me, I kind of needed to be here anyways. We need to get... Small amount of steel plates and some not computers interior plates because I would like to create a few batteries. Ah, 
What a dumb way. What a dumb way. But we'll get things done. Would really like to get into the designing the uh, the new miner. And hopefully, this one will do a lot better. Oh wait, look at this! Did it? Did we actually do it? Did we do it? Did, did my foolishness really do it? Well, I don't know. Let's get the blocks out here. And we need to get ourselves a battery. Right on the gyroscope over there. And it's tipping time. Well, maybe not. No tipping time for me then. Because I didn't place it right. Seven. Okay, tipping time it is. There we go. I hate this. I seriously hate this. <sighs> oh man, I'm, I'm looking so much like an idiot right now. I will eventually get good at this. Uh, grinding out my vehicles, that is. Because how bad can someone get? Just go with the wheelbase. And I'll probably destroy my connector. Tip. I don't care how you do it, just do it. Uh, let's go up here. Let's put in a bunch so we can grind this stuff down safely. And it should be over its tipping point right now. Well, I guess not. How is this game going to work? Oh my. There we go. An episode of me trying to flip my dangerously little contraption over here. I'm thinking this might be a bit of a thing. If it doesn't flip already, it has a problem. Maybe we have to go upwards. That is a possibility, of course. So, let's go up here. And then use a battery. Flip one at the bottom. Almost. Come on now. Come on, you little contraption. I know you want to flip. Slow. The slower, the better. Yeah, there's no way it could flip over, right? Trust me. I can manage to get this thing back on two wheels. Look at that. Look the hell. How is that possible? How is that possible? That is why I don't like vehicles. That is the main bloody reason. I don't like him. I want a flyer because I keep flipping everything into the wrong bloody direction. Just flip over. Hmm, maybe just a few more over here. And now grind. I don't, what I'm worried about is I'm unable to move. Look, not doing it at the moment. So let's get in here and we drive out. Come on now. Just a tiny bit. Ah, that whole eye dog is killing me, literally killing me. Come on, you can get traction, we can do it! Ah, we can't. It is these blocks. Mm. 
Let us get a few over on this point then. Oh, I'm, I'm ran out. Yeah, look at that. That's just great. That's just great. Thank you, game. Thank you. How many rage videos do you have on the internet on Space Engineers? I'm betting there's probably a ton. And this is most likely getting me getting very frustrated eventually. Because we know it will happen. Once again, battery. T please, please tell me what is the best way of flipping a vehicle that was able to get in this position because I don't know okay let us place a few over here and let's grind these two down um Maybe add a few on here. If we can flip them into a horizontal position, actually we could probably just get away by getting them on top of here. Well, you, you probably won't imagine how many times I've done this already. And I cut out most of it. Well, actually, there is a picture of a thumbnail, which should, come on, get out, thank you. Okay, so, parking brakes, get out. Oh, we managed! It's probably going to flip in the hole, right? Okay, let's make sure we got parking brake off, and we go... Just a tiny bit further. So that is, this is my problem with this um, this contraption. It is too unstable. And I would have preferred it to have more wheels. Maybe larger wheels on the side. We could probably extend it. Maybe. Maybe not. So uh, what I would like to hear from you is what is a good way to get a vehicle going what is a nice design and please don't tell me the workshop just just tell me yourself what would be a very nice design because that is what i'm looking for that's what i'm after while we grind down towards the silver to get our med bay up i want to have that done this episode so if the episode is going to be a bit longer than usual um lighting Yes, lighting, that is preferred as well, because otherwise we don't know when we hit silver. Is this silver already? No, it's just regular stone. You know what, let's turn that off. What I'm happy about is that the game does flip you into the right position as soon as you put off your jetpack, your thrusters. I think that might be it. There we go. It looks different, so... I'm sure there is silver. There you go. Silver, stone... And more stuff. Let's dig down a bit more. Now, the reason I am not making pathways is because we have a goal, right? We want to make sure that... We can get a miner going. There we go. 500 silver already. Which is nice. Let's get a few more. We'll pop everything into the car. And we'll move back to base. Also, that is one other thing. We definitely want to start work on the base. Like making it look better than it's looking right now. Because right now... It doesn't look good at all. Okay, so let's see if we can get out of this hole. There you go. Onwards to the beacon. Let's make it top heavy first. Because uh, that is uh, my Achilles heel. 
Uh, we could probably do the stone as well, whatever. Like I said, we don't need everything. So let's get everything in there. Three components cannot be. Yes, because these um, will not allow anything else, uh, else but... Um, what is all of this? The connector of the tiny vehicle is full with stuff. That's why it was top heavy. Well, that's great. I'm so happy we found that out. We also are carrying a huge load of ice. Which I'm just going to be leaving behind. Like I said, we're here for the silver. Ship has disconnected because it was pushing me out. Let's go back into our foxhole. Let's get some more silver. I have to be careful not to hit like the wall or stone. That would be nasty. Quite nasty actually because that would probably just kill me. Get all of this. And grind out a bit more. So in the comment section or and on Discord. Um, talks have been going about getting a large. Like, like a freighter ship. A, a large mining ship. Or like a carrier for mining ships in the future. And I'm like, I haven't left the planet just yet. And here you are talking about me going into space. <laughs> yeah, uh, seeing I can't even build a regular flyer. How likely is it that I am going to be getting into space anytime soon? I'm hoping it will happen though. That's the side point. Let's get everything into there. Um, also that we can collect some of that ice we dropped wait there was ice here wasn't there oh well whatever let us go let us head back towards our base have to be semi careful because we are quite loaded and I already lost my ship it doesn't necessarily mean that I would like to lose my rover hmm that would be so unfortunate. And it is fast though. I do want to be careful not to make too much air time. You've seen my struggle. <laughs> getting this thing flipped over again. I, I will promise you this. Unless. It is something hilarious. I will never show you again. That I'm flipping a vehicle. I will cut it out. Because. I doubt you are going to be interested in me flipping vehicles all the time. Because I flipped this vehicle 15 times by now. And that is why I would like to have a flyer. Instead of a vehicle. That's the main reason. Not because it's so much better. Uh, we're going downhill. Oh, this is going to end so badly. Start slowing down. This feels like the, um, the spaceship all over again. Okay, let us park up ways. I've not even gotten a remotely good at parking. Uh oh. Like I said, not even remotely good at parking. So we're going to be making sure that we are in a semi okay position. But it, the, it just doesn't break. What the hell is going on? See? No, no brake. No braking for me. Even with the parking brakes on. Let's put that on and that on. Okay, that works like that. How can I set up brakes correctly? Seriously. Um, control panels, wheel suspension. And let's bring this all down to zero. Parking brakes off. And... Connectors locked. We don't have to put it on parking brakes. Let's do the lights off. There was the connector off. Oh, sometimes I even amaze myself. Uh, recharging. Get out of this vehicle. And makes make sure that it is... It is doing something. Uh, we can hear the noise. So do we have medical components... Also, let's get rid of those. There we go. We got one of them. 
How expensive is this? Huh. Production. There we go. Look at that. It is getting there. So it is nickel and definitely iron. Small blocks. Oh! Whoa! When does this happen? That is so nice. That is really nice. Let's get into our vehicle here. Can we not get it out? Oh, it's in the cockpit. Oh, we need to help him. We need to help that. If we can get it out ourselves, we probably will be a bit faster. So let's get all of that out. Put it in here. And put you into our refinery. And we are having currently 5 out of 15 medical components. Will this work? I do not know. What I could do is, while that is going on, is trying to see if I can get under here. Let's see, we need to follow this block. And we need to get all the way up to our medical supplies. Well, we're not even close. Move backwards a bit. I think we can actually get this to work like that. And I'll do the connectors myself uh, later. We're almost there. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do this later. I think they should be finished by now. At least I hope. We might want to think about adding... Uh, like a basement? And having everything in there. So nine. That's really low. How much would we get of you? Three. Well, let's get started on this. And we have the O2 generator here. Do you still have things in you, or is it inside of these containers? I think it's inside of the containers. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. There you go, get that one as well. Now uh, we need three more. If I die now, it's uh, respawning time. So let's try not to do so. There we go, respawner should be done. We have ourselves a medical room and I'm so happy about it I am uh, once we um, get some ice in here and the oxygen that should be working right now so if I press what's this oh that's for the appearance change nice yeah it's working I'm so happy about that Thank you so much for hanging out with me, my friends. I hope you are enjoying yourself. I know I am pretty much an idiot when it comes to this game. And I'm hoping over time I will improve. If not, it's going to be a long one nevertheless. So might as well just join me. Join me on Discord. Tell me what to do. Tell me what I'm doing wrong in the comment section and on Discord. Perhaps even join me live with me in, in this game because this is online. And... Uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.